Hello, this is Agent Gray from Her Majesty's Department of Secrets and Security. A chap by the name of Fish and Freaks has been asking for a dossier on our very own all-girl superhero team, the London Girls. I've been to the East and I've been to the West, but London Girls are the best. You can keep your Californian Girls, give me a London Girl anytime. First up we have the team leader. In charge of this knees act we have the mysterious Mother Brown. Word is that she was a nun at one point and became embroiled in the supernatural and soon became an expert in the field. She utilises the secret knowledge of the Vatican and various ancient and secret cults to battle squamous things that should not be. All types of gibbering blobs that squelch and shamble under gibbous moons in the dark places that cross over from elsewhere. She's an expert in Muay Thai and martial arts too. Knee strikes and all that business. Knees up Mother Brown, I say. Next we have Sally Longshack. She's the team rubber woman, also known as Long Tall Sally. Uh, in an accident, which is still classified at this time, she's imbued with the power to stretch her whole body in incredible ways. She also has the remarkable powers of resilience. You know, body like rubber, don't you know? Some say to stay away from Runaround Sue, but truth be told, you've been hard pressed to get near her anyway. Such is the fleetness of foot that she can muster. She goes like the clapper, so she does, and uses her bow staff to whack the old criminals in the noggin. She's so quick, she can take out a gang of hoodlums in a jiffy, and still be home in time for morning tea and crumpets. Then we have Mary Mary, another mystery woman this one. Mary is all we know her by. She can be quite contrary at times, but my does her garden grow. She seems to have an amazing mastery over plant life, incorporating them in all manner of inventive ways. Word is that she may be one of the fairy folk, somehow bound to Mother Brown by some oath or other. Then we have Lucy. Uh, Lucy McCartney, a.k.a. Sky Diamond. She flies around in the air and fires diamond-shaped power blasts or blinding diamond flashes to befuddle foes. Lucy in the sky with diamonds is a sight to behold, to be sure. Next up, Charlotte Harris. She hails from 22 Acacia Avenue in Leytonstone, East London and used to work as a lady of ill repute, shall we say. She'd fallen on hard times and was reduced to playing the oldest profession in the world, so, uh, as they call it. Mother Brown met her on a mission and recruited her into the team. The Iron Maiden suit was developed by Talbot Industries and has all manner of whiz-bang gadgets built into the thing. Quite amazing, what? Next up we have an Australian lass, Matilda Quok. She has a mutant power to create music wherever she is, like a walking radio, quite remarkable. She was a world-class dancer, an expert in all manner of dance, from traditional to street moves, body popping or whatever that it may be. What nobody knew, that as well as being a master of all dance styles, she was also trained in the dance of combat, so to speak, secretly mastering all manner of martial arts. I say, watching a video of her fighting style is quite hypnotic. Uh, she goes by the uh, nom de guerre, Watson Matilda. Next we have a being from an alternate world, one is steeped in what we call fantasy. Our Rosie is a mixed race and all dwarf, so I'm told. She has a remarkable strength and endurance for a seemingly diminutive stature. She may not look like she's up to much, but let me tell you, there's a whole lot of Rosie. A whole lot of Rosie, yes indeed. Then we have Mustang Sally. Girl thinks she's a cowboy, I mean a cowgirl. She's on the autistic spectrum and is obsessed with western movies, even though she's from Putney. She has amazing powers of telekinesis and illusion that she uses to form solid illusions of her lasso, gun and mustang bronco. She seems to think she's a sheriff or something, quite balmy but a lovely girl all the same who rights wrongs with the rest of her posse. So those are the London girls. Now I know this is all about our hero ladies but I thought it might be of interest to know some of the menaces that they regularly save us from. First up is Jackie the Ripper. No one knows much about her but she's left a trail of dead men around the Whitechapel area. We believe her weapon, Mac the Knife, is imbued with some manner of magic, and it's theorised that the knife is actually controlling the woman. But she's proved so elusive it's hard to know just now. Uh, Queenie Smith, or Killer Queen as she's known, utilises dynamite and a laser beam to commit her crimes. Then we have Sweet Caroline. There is nothing sweet about Caroline, although her magical glamours do give the appearance of being so. She's a siren or something, like from Greek mythology, luring men into her lair and mesmerising them to do her bidding. When she's had her use of them, she marries them and then eats them. Quite gives me the willy, so she does. Betrach is the name of this vile entity, or Black Betty as she's been dubbed. She broke into our world from some ungodly place and has all manner of horrendous things planned for our plane of existence. She's a real world level menace, an extinction event threat level. I don't like to contemplate some of the things I've heard about her. 
Then we have Diana Jackson. Dirty Diana is a businesswoman with the morals of a snake and all the tenderness of a great white shark. She has her fingers in more criminal pies than you'll see in a whole series of Bake Off. Money is her god and human life means nothing to her. Then we have the assassin, Janie. Janie O'Smith is an assassin who stores her guns in a pocket dimension and is able to access them with just a flick of her wrist. Janie's always got her gun when she needs it. She's notched up victims numbering three figures so far and those are just the ones we know about. Lastly, we have Lovely Rita. Hmm. Another one with an inappropriate name if you ask me. R-I-T-A stands for Robot Intent on Total Annihilation. And that's her ambition. Nothing less than the complete elimination of all non-mechanical life. Hard to believe that she was invented as a sexual companion prototype by erotic industries and somehow acquired her own AI sentience and a hatred for humanity. It's technology meets Frankenstein if you ask me. Her early male victims were bonked to death, so I hear. What a way to go! Anyway, that's the that's the R report. Uh, hope that's okay, fishing freaks. Uh, this is Agent Grey. <laughs> For Her Majesty's Department of Secrets and Security, signing off.